Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech Solutions. The NASDAQ market is already up 1% in the green. This is after market hours. So this means that TQQQ should be up three times that. So instead of just the 1.5% for after market hours, it should be up closer to 3% if the NASDAQ market holds. And does that come at much of a surprise after the NASDAQ market sold off 15% in just one day? No, right? We talked about this, we prepared for this. It looks like it's trying to show signs of a support. One of the things that I can't stress enough is it looks like as of right now, because of how the NASDAQ market is trading, things are not necessarily getting worse. It looks like Friday might be a green day. That's great for day traders. That's great for those that wanna get in and get out within the same date. Please don't confuse a bullish day versus or in comparison to an overall reversal. The market has so much to recover. I'm gonna make this video really short. So. Overall NASDAQ market, it's still bearish, still getting rejected by the moving average. Trust me, no one wants the market to recover more than I do. With that being said, I wanna approach it with proper intention. It looks like we're going into a bullish day, great for day trade opportunity. When it comes down to your swing trades, all I can encourage you to do is to watch out for your position size, be selective, don't be scared, be selective. But with that being said, also, make sure you don't get ahead of yourself. If you go in too heavy right now and the market still gets rejected, if any news comes out and it actually makes the market sell off more than it previously did before, then get ready, right? This is why we watch our position size. It's not about being scared, it's about being prepared. So I have all my alerts set, I'm excited to follow up. I would be more than happy to day trade TQQQ tomorrow and many other stocks, right? as long as direction is in our favor. But don't confuse a day trade versus a swing trade just because the day trade didn't go according to plan. I wish you guys nothing but the best. If you guys have any questions, you can either comment down below and or send me a message via Discord. And that's that first link in the description. Also, I did, and right now as of my only Instagram, it's the third link in the description. It's my tech buds Instagram. My Ricky Instagram got disabled, it got hacked by a fake Ricky account. I'm working on getting it back. As of right now, every Ricky Instagram account is fake. Please know that I never ask for money. I never trade for you. Nothing like that. If you want to message me, either message me via Discord or you can feel free to message me via Instagram. And that's that third link down below. I really do appreciate you guys' time. If you guys want to learn a little bit more on how we can work together on a closer basis, click the second link down below and I'll see you for one of our live trading sessions. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on our green note. Take it easy, team.